Today I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 creature games in Roblox. This is kind of opinion based so please don't go screaming at me in the comments based on how much I enjoy them. I also made a video on the top 5 animal survival games which is on my second channel called Mr. Gecko if you guys want to check that out. That channel is for non-creatures of Sonaria games like this game right here. I make videos on just random creature games. So let's just hop right into it. For number 5 we have the game I'm playing right now called Be an Alien Renewal and this is the only roleplay game that is going to be on this list. Basically in this game you can like teleport so it's not like super realistic or anything but uh, you can like actually build stuff so that is something very unique over here. You can like build here so you can like build houses and stuff and uh, <laughs> it's not a realistic game but it's still very cool. There's someone right there. As you can see, the creatures don't look bad at all. It is a pretty updated game, it frequently gets updates, and uh, yeah, everybody's just role-playing in the chat right now. See, I'm not gonna role-play in this video because I don't even know anything about that. But the most special thing about this game is the map. This game probably has the best map out of any Roblox game ever. So, if you guys wanna go exploring, this is the game. Like, I'm not even joking, this is this just has the best map ever. I don't know, it's so interesting, because this is, yeah, an alien game, but they made, like, the perfect alien world for it. As you can see, this little blue biome, I can become, like, a, a blue snake to fit with the biome, you know? And this is, the, like, the only creature game with an actual snake, where you can move around and stuff. So, yeah, I don't think there's many uh, games that offer snakes, because they're very hard to make, and this is, the, like, the only game that figured out how to actually make one. But yeah, this is an alien renewal and it is definitely worth checking out um, if you guys are interested in roleplay games at all. But the next four games are all going to be like survival games where you can actually fight stuff. So yeah, let's move on. Pere Gondian Faunas. This is a very interesting game and it is like being revived right now. It is fairly new. This um, game right now has a pretty low player base, but it is still definitely worth checking out because there are still some full servers. So there's a Jurotholas and this Lizathan and like, uh, I have no idea. But for now, I'm gonna play as the Slizithen. I think that's pretty cool. This is a like an arcade style game, and that is like the reason I love it. I absolutely love arcade style games. So here it is. It is not that bad. There's growth, there's stats, there's like all the basics in a game. And you kill stuff, you earn coins, you get XP, you level up, and you buy bigger creatures, and eventually you can maybe, you know, take over the world. I don't know. But as you can see, the, the creatures here can scream actually, so. Alright guys, I found my prey. There's a crocodile stegosaurus over there, and uh, you can customize your creatures here too, which is very nice, you know. But look at this guy over here. 500 health. Can I kill him? I don't know. But each hit deals... Oh, I actually deal 18 damage. That's not bad. I think one of his hits can, like, kill me or something, so I have to be careful. He's swinging his tail at me. I'm just gonna try to get a hit. Oh, alright. I'm good. The PvP is actually not bad in this game. You actually have to touch the creature and stuff. So that is nice. I'm doing some damage right now. Alright, I leveled up. I, I don't know what happens when I level up, but uh, I gained some strength, I think. Let's see. Ooh, he's swinging his tail on me. Wait for the cooldown. Attack. Oh, God. All right. He's just doing a tornado spin right now. Oh, there's an, there's an area of effect here. How do I use it? Okay, it's, it's, F, F, it's F for a secondary attack. I'm just going to try to get hit. Oh, oh no, he hit me. 50 damage. Dang it. All right. There's bleed in this game. That is actually very cool, but I need to rest. Uh, there's a tiny creature here. Oh, there's another tiny creature. They might help me, actually. All right, get him. He has 200 health left. Wait, wait. Uh! <laughs> I didn't even get a hit. But yeah, this game's PvP is very fun. I think if they just renew the game, the, renew the game's UI scripts and everything, it is gonna be like, it, it might be like number two in the list or something. But right now, it is very nice. And, uh, okay, I can't kill this guy. But let's move on to the next game. Number three is Monsters of Etheria. And this game was a Pokemon game. And then, obviously, as you all know, Pokemon was deleted. And then they changed it to a creature game, so they made their own creatures and everything, and it is just the coolest game ever. I played this game for a really long time, I unlocked all the creatures, but the best thing about this game, after you unlock all the creatures, there's like prestige where you can like go for skins next and stuff, and it's just so cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of skins. So, every creature can like evolve, and that is what's so cool, and I'm just gonna start as my level 15 Magmarva over here. As you guys can see, uh, I have my own attacks and everything, and this game is just very relaxing, you know? I, I don't know, this game is just so underrated right now because only like, this game has like an average player base of like 300 to 400 playing. I think it deserves more than that, honestly. It's just a very nice game and I've, there's like unique attacks for like every creature. So you can even change them at like the shop. So yeah, my ability is Fiery Spirit and I don't know what that does, but I think I don't take damage um, from fire. And there's a little Aquaman over there. So the animations are a little bit outdated, but they are constantly updating this game. And this is both a PvP and a roleplay game. And how and how that works is that whenever you join the game, 
it's gonna ask you if you want to join the PvP or the roleplay version. And I honestly prefer the PvP, it gives you more XP and stuff. As you can see, it's kind of a, it's basically a Pokemon style game, except it is very, very fun. Every creature has its own unique way where you can get it, and I think one of them was like attacking this thing with a fire attack, and then it drops. And I'm pretty sure that gives you the creature I'm using right now, that's why I didn't get anything. There's an Aquaman here, I'm gonna I'm try to attack him. Yeah, PvP is also very fun in this game. String shot slows him down, I'm pretty sure. Oh god, if he fire punches me, I'm dead. But I just gotta, I, I wanna tackle him. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, there's a little fire guy over there. Yeah, that is the creature I used to get this one. You just used the fire tackle that thing. Alright, he's stuck in the air. I'm gonna ember him. How much damage did that do? Hey! Hey! Calm down. He's trying to fire punch me. I'm gonna tackle him. That was good. That was good. I'm actually not bad at this game. Yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're just bullying. Uh, he's gonna kill me. Hey, slow him down. Yes! Nice, he's slower now. But yeah, there's a bunch of missions you can do. There is titles that you can go for, and they're all pretty hard. You can even craft stuff, which is very nice. Very underrated game. You guys should play it right now. You know, unlock some creatures, see if you like it. Yeah, it's a very nice map here that you can explore as well. I haven't reached my evolution um, yet, so... Hey, look at that fish over there. I don't know what he's doing. He's just chilling. There's a whole ocean you, you can explore over here, and uh, there's stuff down there. There's orbs you can collect on the shore. There we go, I'm leveled up, and I'm pretty sure I could evolve into the Pupagma right now, and I'm evolving. So, I'm a Pupagma now, and uh, basically, you can evolve, I can evolve into the next thing. This is like a drill evolution, by the way. Pretty much it for Monsters of Etheria, you guys should definitely check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Dragon Adventures. Now, this is the only game where you don't actually become the dragon. I don't know which one to pick here. I'm gonna pick the Saurium, and I'm gonna name him Jeff. So, um, I'm- this is a human by the way, I'm not a dragon, this is just my avatar. So, basically, you can ride your own dragons, and, uh, it is a very nice game that gets, like, a lot of updates constantly, and this is definitely worth checking out, so. Okay, I'm just uh, required to run through the rings right now. He has the shift to sprint ability. Okay, Q to fly. Yes, here we go, I'm actually flying now. This is nice, you know. It is, um, so flying is actually- oh! Okay, it is very fun in this game. I'm pretty sure in this game there's multiple worlds and there's so many dragons that you can collect and, uh, you know, just have adventures with. That is the point of the game. So as you can see, you can like collect eggs around the map and it hatches like a random dragon in the world. Yeah, each world has a unique egg. So I just have to collect the dragon egg right now and I don't know where the nest is. Oh, it's right there. Alright, give me that. But yeah, this is a very popular game and uh, that is the best thing about it, honestly. There's just so many, there's just a huge player base. And it is nice to get to know the people, join the Discord server and stuff. Whenever you collect an egg, you gotta incubate it at your little base over here. This is mine. You can even decorate your base and stuff. Okay, this is not my base. <laughs> like a portal world. This is my base. Uh, yeah, it's not the it's not the best base ever. But I'm just gonna incubate my egg over here. And basically, uh, if you guys don't know, each egg, whenever you hatch one, they get like a, a unique color, and everyone uh, gets like a unique eye color, a unique breath, a unique element, and uh, there's like really rare elements that you can do, and basically, I think this one has a mutation. Yeah, this one has one mutation. So yeah, you can get a very rare dragon in this game. You just have to grow them and stuff, and basically, when this guy grows up, if, the, if they're female and male, you can like breed two dragons, and they are actually. Then you can get like a rare dragon and stuff, I don't know, you guys should definitely uh, check this game out and explore. It is a very, very, very nice game, and I completely approve of it. Finally, number one, and um, probably all of you expected this, is Creatures of Sonaria, the most popular creature or animal game in Roblox. Obviously, there is a reason for that. Um, my whole channel is actually based off of this game. I, I do fun challenge videos and whatever. You guys can check that out. But basically, each creature has their own unique abilities, stats, and uh, there's growth in this game. And there's just everything you need. There's mutations, there's traits. For the new people, you probably don't know what all of this means. But when you uh, play the game, there's a tutorial that guides you. But this game has a very beautiful map. And the customization is so nice. Like, you can customize... That is not even what that creature looks like. It is pink. But this person has customized it to be blue. Everything has its own weight, and it's just, it's a very balanced game. Nothing is really broken. It's like the perfect creature game to play, definitely. It gets weekly updates, like two new, two or three or four even new creatures per week, which is very nice. And uh, there's like events. It is a very, you know, updated game. What makes this game special, you may ask? There is a huge amount of creatures in this game. Hold on, let me just show you guys. Right, uh... 
These are only the creatures I own. Each one is its own unique creature, its own design, its own growth, its own, I don't know, everything. But yeah, there's like some elements, I guess there's like some galaxy creatures, water creatures, fire creatures. This isn't really like an element based game. There are plushies you can use to like improve your creatures a little bit and uh, you can, you, it's basically a game where you survive as one. And yeah, here's a list of all the creatures. This is insane. This is um, about almost 400 creatures in the game. Each one having their own rarity and there's a, there's a trade realm where you can trade with other people, you can sell your species, you can... Yeah, it's very nice and again there are titles like in Monsters of Etheria that you can like chase if you've uh, unlocked every creature which is like almost impossible because there are developer creatures where only developers can trade you and if you guys are really dedicated to this game, you can go for those. It's events with event shops and everything every single Easter, Halloween, Christmas. There are mutations, so this um, is a bewitched mutation I think which is why it's like glowing purple and green, this little creature here. This creature has keen sight ability which means I can see all the health of the people and um, there's a tiny creature here, I think I can kill this guy if I just... Oh yeah, that took one bite. And there's so many people in this oasis right here. This has a very nice map for those who are new. And this is a Sigma Tox, which is a very rare creature worth about like 100,000 shrooms. So I'm just gonna kill this guy over here because I'm not messing with the Sigma Tox. I feel, I feel kind of bad. I'm just showing you guys the PvP and everything. And there's breaths, but this one doesn't damage people, it just heals me. Yeah, if you guys want to check this game out, you know, explore the new creatures, explore the map and stuff, you can. Because it is definitely worth it for those of you who haven't tried this game. Best thing is that it's kind of suitable for all people, really. For those of you who like survival, you can play. For those of you who like roleplay, I mean, it's not really a roleplay game at all, but it's still possible in this game. You can uh, hatch nests and stuff, and you can collect creatures if, and you can trade if you're not into the gameplay. I don't know, it's just a game that works for everybody. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this list. Yeah, oh, oh god. Oh, I can't fly. I can't fly.